Why do you decide to do it? Miss Ko wanted me to do it. <laughs> Well, 11 year old Lee Chong Ning may not have the biggest motivation to enter the Sony Creative Science Awards. But it did not stop her from outshining other kids in this year's competition. Her toy, that is named Circus Clowns, scooped the number one prize in the Seas Kids Award as well as the Veterans Choice Awards. I learned science concepts and um, how to uh, decorate it nicely and all. Um, center of gravity. You press the sides and then you'll move. Apart from the Seas Kid Award, another very competitive category is the Wiz Kid Award. And the theme for this year's Wiz Kids Award category is Make Us Laugh. Entering the competition with other older kids proved not much of an obstacle to 7-year-old Zina Beck. This little girl came up with a toy Crazy Spiders and earned herself a third position in the WizKid Award. My father think of something jumping for the spring. Then uh, my father say, can you use the frog? Then I say, because oh, frog always jump, so I don't want the frog, so I guess of spider. What is so funny about your toy? Because sometimes I shoot, cannot shoot, keep jumping here and there. And sometimes shoot, then it will fall down. Just place really, then it will drop. Just take one spider, then put on the spoon. Then you press the spoon with your thumb, then you let go the spider will shoot. The toy that beat the crazy spider and clinched the number one prize for the whisket category is Pop the Bean. Belonging to Angel Liu, this toy also won the Best Multiplayer Toy Award. I came across the video called Japanese Domino Effect and the concept of the toy in the video is same as this. So I was curious how they made it, so I tried to make this toy. Uh, at the point of release, uh, the marble has gravitational potential energy and it converts into kinetic energy as it rolls down the tube. And the spring behind the door has potential energy and when it pops out, it will convert into kinetic energy quite a number of times because sometimes the slopes are not equally placed so I have to measure them. Yeah, you once you start playing you'll get interested in it and you can't really stop. And I use Mr. Bean because I think he's a funny comical character. Uh, you're supposed to put some marbles into the openings and they will either they'll go down some tubes and enter to the dead end or the bucket here. And if the marbles are accumulated at the bus bucket here, have mess, it will pull down and open the Mr. Bean and Mr. Bean will pop out. And the first player to play pop Mr. Bean out first will win the game. With Singaporean kids getting more and more creative, who knows, the next time we pick up a toy in the stores, it might just be an invention of one of them.